I know. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. What an absolute mess. <laughs> no, that was so funny. They're so, like, they're, I feel bad for them, you know? It's like, like, it's just, it, it, they're like, it, it's just so sad, you know, because, like, they're not, like, they're not okay. They're mm -hmm. not okay, and they need help, and I feel really bad, you know? It's like, it's like everyone wants to project onto me, but obviously we know why they're doing that, and they didn't no, know in court. And, yeah. you know, today when we were in court, and that we're going to be in court tomorrow again, and mm -hmm. and we're going to be showing up, and we're going to keep fighting, mm -hmm. and that's it. And there's a lot of other things coming up. I mean, my brother raped Ashley Rep when she was 15 yeah. years old, three he times. Did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and, yeah, oh. Ashley Rep, and, and, and I, I'm there to testify for it. And Angel, in her police report, she beat Ashley Rep up, and she admitted it in her police yeah, report. Yeah, she did, that's in the police report. Angel, <laughs> Angel beat her up, and that's mm -hmm. fact, that's facts. That's yeah. facts. What are they gonna do? Where, you know, where, where was my cease and desist instead? Melissa, I was thinking about this. Earlier. I was like, you know, yeah. isn't it funny that I didn't get a cease and desist? Because they wanted me to keep talking to build their case. Otherwise, if they were really concerned that I was telling a lie, they would have got a cease and desist. Sure. I mean, I don't know. why They never sent me a cease and desist. Correct. That's because they wanted us to keep talking to build their case I mean, to make us they, look crazy. They, but but can, we, can, we, can we touch on the fact that there's something out there saying that I was kicked out of the courtroom? You weren't even in the courtroom. I wasn't even in the courtroom. I was a witness. Me and Angel's husband Corey were waiting as witnesses outside in the lobby hallway we weren't even called in there was no being kicked out there was no yelling there was no the judge not believing me nothing I just stood my ground and didn't I I stood my ground I stood my yeah, ground you I did. stood my I stood my ground and I said this is unacceptable and after what Angel and my brother have done to me it's my choice to never speak to them again but now what you're seeing is all the Backstreet Boy fans I mean, you guys can call them out I mean you can see exactly who they are when I go live with them you know that Melissa and I'm talking to yeah. them too it's like yeah. you guys can see this you know mm -hmm. You can see mm -hmm. that we're very open and honest people, very loving people, but there's yeah. a lot of people that are trying to come after us and it's not going to work because they have me. I'm a lion. Melissa has me. Yeah. Melissa mm -hmm. has her father. And yeah. it's just like, you know, people can say what they want, but you got they don't realize they're making me more famous and they're making you more famous and th giving you the ability to be, you know, the motivated the, the woman I, I that the, the like woman. never wanted all i wanted to do was like i just wanted to release what happened to me and that don't was cry it. sweetheart I'm right, i will cry if you want i'm right here though i'm, I'm right here i get <laughs> I, it no but like i don't like i never but all the attacks all of this crap that you're seeing in the chat i'm just like this is why i keep fighting this is why aaron keeps fighting it's all of this shit it's all of the gaslighting. It's the woman who was on before who was like, you're a liar. You're a liar. We don't believe you. Nobody believes you. That is insane. You don't know what everyone believes. You, you can't make statements like that. Just because, like, it's fine if you don't believe someone. But why would you show up on Aaron's live stream and act like that if you like why even spend I, I have been with... here I have been here and I created a movement because Melissa has been being attacked in silence for years for years by a very very higher power and that's Nick Carter who is a serial rapist mm -hmm. okay and that is a fact it is a fact okay yeah, I, did, I didn't it, know that he was when he raped me, he took but... he took Melissa's virginity well so and I then the like, shrimp, the shrimp waters like right here. That. These are the I people that are... I don't like to say that because you have. I have to give it. You don't get to take someone's virginity. So Look, this shrimp waters right here. They keep saying shrimp waters, shrimp, 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 shrimp. It's some exactly. sort of term, but it's like they keep threatening my life. These shrimp waters people. What is so, that? I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's the you know the other powers or you know what I mean. It's but they keep saying shrimp and shrimp is like a mob term for like death, like you're gonna die. So, uh, yeah, that's what that, this is the kind of stuff I have to deal with guys. Someone says, Melissa, we need to know, need to know what? Melissa, Melissa, listen, Melissa is standing strong and she's, she's got, she's got me behind her back, all right? And I know my brother Benny better than all of you guys fucking think you do, okay? That's my brother. 
Someone said that that shrimp is holding a gun. What? No, it's not. I don't see a gun. Uh, someone just commented that they said, "Oh, that 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 sh that shrimp is holding a gun." Oh, me? I'm holding a gun. No, I got. Did you see when I got back? My 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 front door was open, Melissa. I kind of saw that. So it was it unlocked. It look. It looks. Someone says it's behind you. It's behind me. What's behind me? Like, See, but this is the kind of thing, guys, I'm sorry, those of you in the chat, that's gaslighting shit. You can't be like, ooh, there's something, that's not fucking funny. Uh, like, you don't, they don't, they don't, you guys don't scare me. Like, I'm good. I'm good. Like, you guys don't, you guys think I, I'm scared of you? I'm way more powerful. I have way more money. And I, I have way more people that pay attention. And I know all of them. Someone said shrimp are literally guns. So that's what shrimps are. Shrimps are guns. Okay. Well, we don't believe you. That's an emoji. If that's all the receipts you have is a bunch of emoji shrimp. Okay. I don't believe you have guns. It's stupid intimidation tactics. Oh, look. Now everyone's throwing shrimps and this. What a joke. Yep. It's ridiculous. So what do you think, Aaron? Do you want to talk about the, the guy who was in the courtroom today who was tweeting? Oh, the what's, the what's the truth guy. We caught him. What's the truth guy, right? We got him. So yeah, we, we caught him. tell everyone what really happened. All right, go ahead. You, you start off, so. Well, no, you were in the room. I just heard it. All right, so basically um, there was a guy in the room, and he was this smaller blonde guy with glasses on, and mm – -hmm. um, he runs the What's the Truth account, and he was tweeting while in the courtroom like a fucking idiot. Like a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. So, like, um, anyway, he, that's what he was doing. Um, he was he was uh, he was tweeting all the stuff that was like like not really happening, but some stuff that was kind of happening. And, that's always um, what they I, I called him out. I called him out, and I, I told I told the the judge and the deputy to kick him out of the room, and I had him kicked out of the room and escorted out, and then he disappeared. So, and then I grilled about thirty other people that were lingering around, and I said, "Hey, how you doing? What's the truth? What's the truth?" And everyone was scared of me, and they ran, they ran, they ran, and they should run because you, if you're stalking me. Hold on, hold on. Why does someone say I love what's the truth? You shouldn't. It's a bunch of lies. Someone said, higher power shrimp gang out to get you. Okay, yeah, we believe you. Yeah, what's what what's shrimp gang? Oh, yeah? Higher power shrimp gang. That's a lame uh, gang name. Shrimp. Yeah, it really is. I love shrimp. <laughs> I used to go. Birds of a feather. <laughs> Y'all are a mess. Do you guys know that Angel didn't even cry today? Did she? No, not at all. Not at all. Angel didn't even shed a tear. You know who did? Aaron. He bawled his eyes out. Bawled his eyes out. Devastated by what his family did. She didn't even cry. I'm sorry. And I'm sure Angel's probably watching. Oh, of course, they are all the time. Hi, 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 uh, um, leave me alone. <laughs> so don't worry. A lot of people are going to say they have Melissa's back, but I've got her back better than anyone. Trust me. No one fucks with me. They know better. Cry for what? I mean, she was... I mean, look at what the, the, what she alleged happened. Like she wasn't even emotional about it. Huh. <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry. There was a lot of stuff there. In the urban dictionary, shrimp gang is a gang with gay people with small wieners. That's what it says. Is it really? It says, yeah, it says, it says a gang with gay people with small wieners. <laughs> Okay. And then the other shrimp gang is Supreme Patty, who I actually hey. fuck, fuck with. Supreme Patty. Look up uh, throwing a shrimp. 
It's one of my favorite things. It makes me laugh. Throwing a shrimp? Yeah. See, so look up the definition of throwing a shrimp. It's disgusting to me, but like not really. You'll get it. It's, I have a weird sense of humor. We both do. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? This is Harley Quinn, by, by the way, guys. That's right. Hi. Throwing shrimp, urban deck. Uh, it means wearing sandals or flip flops that are too small so that one's toes. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. I know who. <laughs> <laughs> it's when like a toe hangs off the sandal. I know who you're talking about. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I know. I know. Yo, shout out In Sync. In Sync was always better than Backstreet Boys. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god wow that is hilarious so anyway just to keep note um melissa my door was open so if anything was planted in my house or anything like that i documented it all so Good. we are we already know we already know that people are trying to do that so shrimping ain't easy oh yeah shrimping ain't easy well it's easy for me because I'm, I'm a fisherman i grew up in the florida keys baby have you ever gone shrimping of course, off of a bridge. You do it at nighttime. So here's here's the thing about shrimp. Okay. This is what's funny. Here's a, a good analogy about these little shrimps, right? All right, so when you go shrimping, you do it at nighttime during the winter. And, okay. what, and the reason why you do it at nighttime, so you'll go on a bridge, right? And you'll have mm -hmm. barrels. There'll be barrels set up so that when you, cut, when you throw the nets in the water, you pull mm -hmm. up the shrimp and you can cook the shrimp right away and eat them because shrimp, you can mm -hmm. cook really easy. So you just mm -hmm. bring a little bit of cocktail sauce with you. But they're very... Uh, curious because I studied marine biology. The very curious mm -hmm. part about it is is that um, is that when you disturb shrimp, um, they light up with phosphoric and they light up blue, and and it disturb it disturbs um, the plankton and the shrimp and then because plankton are small versions of shrimp. So yeah. what I'm doing is I'm I'm a professional shrimper. Okay, so okay. I'm disturbing them, and then what they're doing is even though the shrimp are in the dark. If you disturb them with a the net, they light right. up and they let you know, oh my God, we can see you, oh my God. So they light up with phosphorus. <laughs> you got so excited about the shrimp lighting up. <laughs> I can see you. I can see it clearly now, <laughs> the shrimp are gone. <laughs> and I'm, on, uh, I'm gonna put them in my barrel tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that people come in. They're like, "What the fuck?" That's because they come like, in. They come in and out. They come in and out. So it's like, oh, we both need help. Okay. Yeah, Nick Carter's a rapist. Nick Carter's a rapist. Carter's a serial rapist. rapist. Rape me. I just don't get it. What's wrong with people? It's the devil. It's the devil. He got corrupted by the Ouija board. And Is then there I, people are using fried fried shrimp is that the only uh shrimp emoji there's there's got to be a fresh one <laughs> probably not 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 when you're dealing with nincompoops <laughs> like they're frying shrimp oh yeah we're frying shrimp you know what i gotta get some you know i got some shrimp in the in my freezer right now yeah make some Um, I think that we should ask, or not ask, we should answer some questions to, to uh, some of the crap that's been put on Twitter. Any questions about the uh, hearing today? So we can set the record straight, considering there's a lot of rumors going around. Is Nick really a rapist? Seriously? No. Are you fucking kidding me? I just want to. I just want to say I've been married we, for thirteen years, happily. Why the fuck would I be sitting here thirteen years later talking about trauma that happened when I was eighteen if it wasn't true? That's crazy. I have a nine-year-old son. 
She's been being bullied, guys, and I didn't even believe her at first until I it started happening to me. But the problem is, is I'm way more powerful than Nick is when it comes to that stuff. Way more powerful. I have a lot. My 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 engagement's bigger. I have a lot more people that pay attention, and they're gonna owe me. They're gonna owe me and Melissa an engraved apology. Yep. An engraved one, and we have every right to speak our First Amendment. So you're gonna you're gonna literally, like. Everybody, go get this account deleted. Wake up and dust. It's got my profile picture on it. Go report it right now. LMG shut down. You can report it and shut it down. Hurry up before. Yes. Hur hurry up. Go go shut them down. Someone asked, what is the 5150 about? We don't know. Aaron didn't get a 5150. What 5150? Wellness. They, they wanted to get you, like, locked up. That's not what happened. <laughs> <coughs> Someone said, "When you grow up with an anim animal abuse, with an abuser, uh, when you grow up with an abuser, as you have, Aaron, yeah. Well, Nick is an abuser. He drowned me in a pool. My my dad said, um, uh, he used to stuff me in bunks in Europe. Uh, he forced me to drink. He gave me all of my medical conditions. Um, he constantly would get people drunk and film them because he thought it was funny. Uh, and then he would give people alcohol poisoning." Um, you know, my, oh, I've heard that a couple times. Yeah, like, so, uh, so he would get people alcohol poisoning for fun just to film them and pay them money to do it. Has anyone seen the video of Nick uh, lighting his friend Chris Stensby's hair on fire with a blowtorch on YouTube? Or the video where he thinks it's funny that a monkey is raping a frog? <coughs> I'll find it right now. <coughs> I mean... <laughs> well, how about uh, 2016 when he was arrested for, um, for and he was charged for this? 2017. Uh, was it 17 or 16? 17. Okay. Where he assaulted a bouncer? Got arrested and banned from Hogsbrath. Choked Hogsbrath. him out? Choked him out? Because got, and got banned, and got banned, got, and got banned from Hogsbrath Saloon in Florida and in the video it says that um that the, the owner was like I knew he was lying he lied about choking out the bouncer but I'm being called a liar I have no track record of lying about any crime I've never been arrested now and I, and I've I've been arrested twice and both charges got dropped because it was for weed, and that was it. And then everyone was like, well, how is he driving a car? Because guess what? That DUI that I got, got dropped. Because it wasn't a DUI. I wasn't driving yeah. under the influence in Georgia. Mm -hmm. There it goes. I fight my battles and I win. Mm -hmm. Someone said that it reported that the judge was considering a 5150. Knew it no! Wasn't true. No, the no! judge was never doing that. That's not, that's not what the case was about. The case was a restraining order case. Yes. All right. They've already tried to get me 5150. Uh, I've had uh, uh, 20, 30 wel welfare checks. They can't. Yeah, it's I, not happening. But honestly, from my, in my opinion, I think that that's what they were hoping for. They thought that they were going to Brittany you. You know how she has her conservatorship and everything? I think that that's what they were trying to do. I already knew it. That's why I kept telling everybody this already. I said, I know, I, I, I called it. I, I, Melissa, tell them that I, I, I'm 10 steps ahead of these people. Tell yeah, them. He is. He is. And I've, I've been, I have been, I've literally, I, I will risk everything I have to protect women uh, mm -hmm. from this kind of abuse. I don't care if it's my brother. I don't care if it's my son that did it. It doesn't matter who did it. I will mm -hmm. take you down. Mm -hmm. And that's a message to all of you. I will take you down. All right. I'm not a perfect person, but I've learned from my mistakes. All right. I have been reborn again and I deserve respect. And so does Melissa. And I'm, and we're, we're going to get our respect. Mm -hmm. All right. The message is going to get out there and it's not going to stop. And you guys are going to know. And I, and you can't stop me from saying what I'm going to say. You can't mm -hmm. find me. I'm moving out of here in 10 days. All mm -hmm. right. I have, I have, I have armed security outside my house. So literally I have armed security outside of my house. So hold on the battery on my phone.
I hate it when this happens. So. Why? I don't care if this shit kills me or they kill me or all the people who tried it. They, they came to the house and uh, somebody tried to set up a rope in my house, apparently. And uh, I think I know who it is. Um, but the, the feds already know who that is, too. Uh, so um, they came in and they said, we got to check your garage because someone said you wanted to hang yourself in your garage. And they went in my garage and they checked it and I, and I live streamed the whole thing. And I said, I don't want to kill myself. I own my first house. I have beautiful assets. I have a beautiful life. I just, I have a family that I don't want to be around. That's it. Right. And then I've asked them to leave me alone, but I warned them. I said, hey, if you keep poking at me, I'm going to poke back. If right. you want, they slandered my name. They slandered my name first. The, the, the first thing they did was say that I wanted to go kill Lauren Kit and my brother, and I would never want to do that and ever do that. I know. And then they used small little clips of footage of me with my guns before, and then they got my guns taken away from me for a year. So, and then I'm moving, so I'm going to get guns in the next state I go to, so... Fuck you, everybody. Sorry, Melissa. <laughs> but can you uh, say why it is that you feel like you need guns? Because I feel like that's not... People will take that and be like, why does he need guns? Why? Because um, I grew up with them. My dad was in the military. I like to go shooting for a hobby. I don't kill animals. I, 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 my, I went hunting with my dad one time uh, to... Uh, to hunt for a deer and I, and I, and I shot it and I'm a really good, like marksmanship shooter. And, um, I hated it and I never wanted to do it again. Never. I never. So I never like, I can never like, I, I save black widows and get bit by them sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like I, I like, <laughs> like I, I, I do not ever like want to do that. You know, mm -hmm. guns to me are also protection because I am high profile. People figure out where I live. They hack my stuff. You know, so it's like I got to protect myself, you know, and, oh. and and it's our Second Amendment and our, 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 our four, you know, our four fathers, you know, they put that in our amendment, the Second Amendment, you know, freedom of speech and then the right to bear arms. So it's like you have the right to bear arms, you know, you have the right to bear arms. I don't right now because apparently I'm too dangerous. So I'm too dangerous. And um, I have too much power, clearly, because everybody is all hot and bothered about it and they're coming at me but i i beg you keep coming keep coming keep coming i don't understand some of these people why do keep, you like no no no, no let them, let them do it keep keep coming keep coming because you can't stop me madden dawn is a stalker oh yeah she's she's on twitter too i know i already know who she is we we caught her too oh, okay yeah um. <clears throat> yeah, Shane. Shane's in here too. About Nick, it's scary to do so. Thanks. Um. God, I feel like I've told this story so many times. I don't like. I'm honestly kind of tired. Someone um, says. Someone says I'm jelly of Nick's success. Nick tried to buy. Fool, Nick, Nick tried to buy Fool's Gold off me, guys, and I told him no. And I sold almost two million copies with my new album, and they haven't even come close to the amount of sales on their new album that I have with mine. So, uh, the numbers speak volumes. Also, I've been a successful solo artist and never needed to depend on four other men for my That's whole right. life. That's right, Nick. Nick is not a good uh, solo artist. <clears throat> Oh, 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 no, no, no. He's, he's, he's really good. He's really good. He, he's really good. Y'all are losers. Okay. Oh, yeah? Let's see the difference. I just don't understand this sort of, like, um... Uh, people like basing talent on you do understand you tell them why you know what's going on it's done it's done I've, re I've released the Kraken I am the Kraken I'm, I'm like per <laughs> Percy is half God and half man <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, the Kid Kern says that you don't you don't buy followers, but Who, Marley me? J. Yeah, that you don't buy followers. I don't buy followers. Nick no. Does, yeah. Nick, Nick, Nick does all the time. A lot of people do, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't. Buy, I don't. I don't. Buy, I don't care. I don't buy. I got followers from doing podcasts and from doing the the, the marriage boot camp show, and I have I have millions of fans. I have the facts on the wall, and now they're just being reminded of me. Mm -hmm. So. So you're thinking about starting like a live stream separate from IG, right? Or no? I mean. I really hate I really hate like the idea of monetizing off of stuff like that because I want to be known for my music and that's it. You, you know? can. You can actually do music sessions on your live stream. So you could do like specific days of the week where it's just you singing live like a live concert. You know? So it said it was so disappointing. What was so what was so disappointing? You guys gonna be a little bit more clear too, like when you're talking about shit on the internet, because things get misconstrued. And and I will tell you guys this: when I got someone coming at me, I don't give a fuck what someone says. You're coming at me sideways. I'm gonna come at you right at the same way and give you a dose of your own medicine because you deserve it. And Thank that's you. For that. I'm 35. I'm definitely grown up, and my name is not spelled. M A L I S S A. Wait, Melissa is a beautiful woman, and she is an incredible mother, and hey. and she takes care of her children better than any woman I've ever seen. Her husband is very lucky to have her, and she has been one of the only people to actually be my big sister through all this. And we're letting God lead the way, mm -hmm. and God is protecting yeah. us, and and and. You know, 